Okay. It looks like it was OBS itself freaking out. So, I think everything's good now. I hope. If you can hear the game fine. Well, I guess we're going to find out anyway. We're going in. You can't hear this? My mixer's telling me that there's actual sound coming now. Uh, which is a step in the right direction. But no audio. Okay, microphone works. Uh, hmm. okay, microphone works. Okay, that worked. All right. Okay, thank God. Jesus. It took me a while. Well, I guess I can let this cutscene go. going to continue from where I was before. I haven't played all that much, so really I'm just kind of like still doing my thing. Also, my guy is beautiful. He's so beautiful. I wonder if we can get a good... the first boss? I mean, Phalanx isn't the most interesting if, yeah, I mean, if I want to start, I guess if you want me to start again, I can start again. Uh, uh, fine.
<laughs> this is where I made it so... Oh my god. I find the Souls games to be the most easy to watch compared to... Um, yeah, maybe I'll try another one. I want to be... Royalty. Temple Knight? I feel like, as usual, this doesn't really matter that much. I'll be a knight. Starting gift, some... Uh... Yeah. The name. I'm gonna call myself Stream. Streamer. <laughs> <laughs> um. Wow, oh, I didn't know this. You had, like, an environment thing, so they could be like, Look at our lighting! <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I guess that one. What kind of preset should we do? Are we gonna make our guy like a fucking monster? So detailed. We'll start with this. I think I have an idea what we want to do. So, skin-wise, we're gonna put you, like, right around. I don't know. I'm gonna be a red boy. Like, super red. Like, really red. And your bass tone is gonna be... Oh, yeah. Age, you're gonna be smooth. Uh, wait. Hmm. There we go. Uh, your face, though... I guess, I guess that seems fine. Most of this doesn't really matter until you get to the sliders. Yeah, big, big old chin boy. Chin boy. Or no. No. Oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, sure. Really sink that in. Uh, your brow. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, didn't select it. Oh, we should have. I should have just made like. I should have. It should be the holidays, right? Let's make Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa Claus. Santa Claus Demon Souls. Shit. Okay, what's the closest one to Santa that we've got here? We either do Santa Claus or we do Jesus. But I feel like Santa Claus makes more sense. I guess that's Santa. He's got a beard. <laughs> the Grinch. Actually, the Grinch is a pretty good idea, too. I don't know, what do you think? We do Santa, Jesus, or the Grinch. It kind of looks like a Vermintide character, when I think about it. Uh... Buckle up, this is going to be a while. I don't know, what's the most plain... The Grinch with Santa as backup. Eh. Eh. Grinch in Santa get up. Uh, that could work, actually. I'll just start with the most basic bitch face and then move from there. So, the Grinch. Let me, let me bring up, like, a reference image just so that we kind of have an idea. Grinch. Huh, it gave me a COVID-19 alert for some reason. Oh, it says it's a movie. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Okay, so he's kind of like a very, like, bright, bright green. We're gonna try doing Jim Carrey Grinch, I guess, since, uh, you know, it's a person. <laughs> um, so, right around there, saturation, just gonna jack you right up. Uh, maybe just a little bit more. That's, that's about right. Right about, right about there actually is pretty good. Nah, 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 we gotta keep it nice and bright. Okay. Uh, age, I would say, he's, he's got some wrinkles. He's pretty stressed out because it's Christmas time. He hates it. Weight, though, he works out. He stays, he stays pretty healthy. We'll just keep him right around, like, malnourished healthy. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, seems about right, I guess. I don't know. Face-wise, we gotta make him look pretty, pretty grumpy. I guess that's about, I don't know, these, these, the, the presets don't really help too much, but they, I guess they kind of give me an idea of where we're going. That's good. I like that one. Width-wise... He's got a long face. Yeah. Deepness, though, I don't think that really matters too much. Thin you up a little bit. That seems good. Right about there, yeah. Okay. Okay, now your brow. Which one of these are the angry eyes? He's... He's got, he's got, like, pretty thick eyebrows, so, oh, 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 yeah, that's pretty good. It's kind of unibrow, right? So this needs to be darker than his skin. Right around there. Uh... <laughs> Whoa, okay. Uh, he... Actually, it does kind of poke out a little bit on one of these, so... Yeah, you know, let's do that. Height-wise, though... He's got to bring it down a bit. That's about as far as I can go. It seems. Eyes... So, well, they got to be green. Uh, does he have yellow eyes? I guess he does. It's kind of hard to tell. It's like yellow green. I guess we go yellow. Glowing yellow eyes. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the cat eyes. Right? Or... I guess cat eyes make sense? We'll do cat eyes. Yellow. Bright yellow. No, kind of like a yellowish green. Right around, like, here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a secondary color. Okay, so this one could be yellow. And the main color can be, like, the green-ish? Or just kind of mix it up a little bit? Uh, right around there? Yeah, alright. Uh, the glow, though. Yeah, we... <laughs> yeah! Yeah, he's gonna glow. He's gonna glow. Spacing... Uh... It comes, it comes pretty close together. I'm looking at, like, the cartoon one. Like, maybe around, like, here. Height, though. Kind of, it, it kind of comes down a little bit. Depth, I don't think depth really matters too much, but we're just going to sink it in there. Just to make his brow a little bit more pronounced. Okay. Um, I can't make him look any angrier, unfortunately. Like, there's no angle for the, uh... For the eyebrows. Um, unless there's something else I'm missing. 
Anyway, ear-wise, he doesn't really have ears. Because it's all covered by fur, and there's no real fur option. Maybe I'll just pick, like, the smallest looking ears. Those seem pretty small. That one's small? That's pretty small. We'll pick that one. His angle, uh, height kind of... Yeah, we'll just kind of raise it up right over there. Depth-wise... Depth-wise, we'll put it back. Uh, in terms of a nose, it's kind of like a really flat, small cat nose, I guess. Yeah, I think we're making Shrek right now. <laughs> More so than the Grinch. I know, I know in like the Dark Souls and Bloodborne games, you can, uh, you could do a little bit more, I think. From what I remember, but like, this, this is fine too. I think... That's a good one. Width... Oh, shit. Width-wise, gonna have to bring it down a little bit. Raise that up. No, no, no. No, no, we're gonna shrink that sucker. The bridge comes down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Mouth-wise... They're pretty... Big grin? I mean, like... I guess, yeah, sure, flatten that out a little bit. Big lips, maybe? Not really, not really big lips. Uh... Well, I can't control his grin, but I can do that in later games. But for now, if we give him, like, kind of, like, the smaller lips and just try to widen it out, that's about as good as it's going to get. At least for now. Teeth-wise, though, it's got to be fucked up, right? Like that? No, he's got teeth. There we go! Yeah, it's got fangs! That's the one. That's the one. Right there. What else do we got? Are we getting... <laughs> we could do this one. I guess that one makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, he files his teeth. Okay. okay his jawline. Cleft chin. Okay, you know what? Hold on. I'm just gonna... Get rid of all of this extra stuff so we can see it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so cleft chin. Uh it doesn't really have a cleft. So we'll flat we'll we'll smoothen that out. But in terms of width, gotta bring it in. Height, it does kind of come out a little bit, I guess. Depth, pull it out, and his cheekbones. Okay, so this, yeah, yeah, that seems about right. That's about as close as I can get it. Hair, though, he's, he's a hairy motherfucker, so... Oh, no. He, he's got a, he's kind of got, like... That, that maybe, that maybe might work if we just kind of put it like around here and, and green it up a bit. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, that, uh, that might work. Or how about, how about like that? <laughs> Well, I recognize he's kind of got, like, the onion hair, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I remember. Yeah. Closest thing to that would be... Um, 
would be like this one where it like pokes upwards. I feel like that's about as close as it can get. But in terms of like other stuff, we have to give him like all, almost like all fur, like around his face. <laughs> okay, hold on. We'll, we'll do the sides. Um, oh, sides first. Yeah, that. Oh, big old mutton chops. <laughs> it's just the little thing hanging out there. That's not quite right. He actually doesn't have much of a. He doesn't have much underneath. Actually, like on his on his face here, it's pretty bald. But like down here, kind of comes up like so. I guess it's like it's like really slight. In that case, the sideburns can be, like, kind of fuzzy. I guess, like, that works fine, but then this, I kind of want, like... I'll give him, like, a soul patch, I guess. Nah. Nah. There we go. That seems about right. That's, that's about as close as we're gonna get it. Decals, though. Is there anything here that we could add? Scars and blemishes. Oh, what, from his battles with uh, Lucy... What was it? Lisa? Lucy who? Something like that? Lou? Lou who? He doesn't really have scars. Okay, well, his name is now Grinch Boy. Well, Grinch. The Grinch. Uh... <laughs> it's just glowing. <laughs> His eyes in the back there. In terms of foundation... Ooh. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, good enough. That's that's about as good as I can get it. So... King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. Legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fisher to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Pure of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbain. Skurva the Wanderer. 
the sick saint Astraea with her knight Gal Vinland, and sage Freak the visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Would you like to play the journey to the Nexus? Yeah, might as well show all of it. <laughs> it does sound like Judy Dench. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fisher. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Ugh, oh, these loading times. So good. Okay, first things first. Um, we're gonna not show our helmet so we can have our glorious Grinch face almost all the time. Oh, yeah! Oh, this looks even better. <laughs> okay, here we go. Doop, 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 doop. It has been... God, the, I remember the first time playing Demon Souls was, like, a, a miserable experience because there was no game like it, and it was super jank and all that stuff, but, like, it definitely, uh, it's one of those games that, like, ages well, I feel, because over time people kind of, like, started to appreciate what it was. And as a result, we got our uh, we got our Dark Souls from it. That dodge roll. It's not great. I'm used to playing as my other character, who, who's like a lot speedier. But that's probably because of the armor I'm wearing. It's fine, that'll fix itself eventually. <laughs> See, had that been Dark Souls 2, like, three quarters of my health would have gone. <laughs> I remember, like, Dark Souls 2, one of the Im the most immediate things for, um, like, players that had, you know, like, for veteran players, one of the most immediate changes was their change to, uh, how fall damage was calculated, and it was so much more punishing. So falls that would normally just, like, give you, like, a small nick, in Dark Souls 1 would just outright kill you in Dark Souls 2. So it was just, it was just like a full on like fucking troll <laughs> on a bunch of people. Good times. Good times. Dark Souls 2 may still I feel like Dark Souls 2 in my mind is I, like, I, 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 obviously I remember Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1 a lot. I don't remember Demon's Souls very, very well, because it's so long ago. Um, 
but like Dark Souls 1 and Bloodborne I know very well. Dark Souls 2 I know quite well too, and I remember a lot of the cool stuff in Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 3, for some reason, has not been nearly as memorable as the other ones. Even though, I, mechanically speaking, it's better than Souls 2. And even though at the time of its release, Dark Souls 2 was considered like the black sheep, and it still is to some extent, I feel like it's so much more memorable than Dark Souls 3. That could just be me though. I wonder if I can parry this. Oh, I got it! Just let me get behind you. Let me just, 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 just. Eh. Eh. Oh yeah, I can still do this. Great. <laughs> Uh, are we absorbing human souls? I actually don't know. I, my my I, my knowledge of demon souls lore is definitely nowhere near as I guess uh, up to date <laughs> or or in or, or adept uh, compared to like um, the Dark Souls and Bloodborne stuff. Like when I played this, I wasn't using internet. Uh, lore video stuff nearly as much as I do now so it's pretty uh I, I'd have to you'd have to like look stuff up I guess it also kind of like don't expect much for story because it's not gonna like show it to you right in your face as as is tradition with almost all souls games you kind of have to find out yourself through item descriptions, etc., etc. But uh, that's not what this is for. We're just here to we're just here to fight, right? For the most part. And yeah, the arrows in this game they they fight comically slow, but they do that for pretty much all of them. Gotta say though, Blue Point did a fantastic job with this remake. It looks stunning.
This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. Through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> I came to I steal Christmas. <laughs> Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Politaria? I, I I still can't get over like going back to playing like Miles Morales and like coming to play this. I can't get over how fast these loading times are. It's just ah uh, ah uh, so good. Alright, we're, we're basically back to where I was. Uh, not super far, but yeah. Making sure all my stuff was still the same. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ugh. It's got a big ol' arrow <laughs> right in the chest. Oh, it's fine. It falls off. It's fine. Ah! 
Oh, the blood stains? I'll show you. So there's uh, several things that are pretty much common in all Souls games, but blood stains, when you activate them, you get to see another player and how they died. Basically, this guy got, like, fucking ganked in a corner. <laughs> um, you check this one out. Uh, he got fucking beat. So, yeah, usually whenever you see, like, blood stains, uh, it just means people died here, right? And you can use them to kind of gather some hints as to be like, oh, you, there's, like, there's a lot of blood stains here, right? So it's like, what the fuck? What happened here? I guess we'll see, right? Like, I'm almost certain these guys must have died from the, uh, archer here or something like that. Then there's these ones, these red ones, are just messages, uh, placed by, uh, players. They kind of need to fix the text kerning, because down at the bottom it should say, it, sh it should be just appraisals, and then the number. But the number is overlapping on the appraisals part, <laughs> which I think is like, they kind of fucked up on that part, but it's not a huge issue. Just gotta space out that text, you know. So one of the one of the feelings I've always, I remember having when I played like you know Dark Souls or something, you go down like a corridor and then there's like just a bunch of uh, blood stains and you just say, okay, well this is a <laughs> this is a this is a this is a bad place to be. guy's body go? Oh, my title does? Uh, cheese stream. Cheese streaming souls games. There we go. Update. Close. Bastard sword. Half moon grass. Pretty sick. I mean, it's a healing item, but still. Always nice to have healing items. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
could get the shortcut over here first, actually. Oh, something died. Weird. A lot of mail breakers. So the one time the wall decides to block my hit, <laughs> and it's just the one guy there. Back in we go! You can't stop me! Santa's really upgraded his elves this year. <laughs> I really like that as you're walking and if they're about to throw a bomb at you or something like that, like, you, that guy on the steps, you could feel the vibration of him, like, setting it on fire and, like, about to, like, throw it, which, I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's, like, a nice kind of, like, sixth sense kind of, like, um, kind of deal. 
Because it's like, oh! It's almost as if it's warning you that there's, like, some bullshit about to happen. And it's a very subtle vibration. It, it, it kind of travels up the controller until it hits you in front or something like that. So it's pretty cool. Ah, oh, you bitch! Oh, it's right through my arms! That's who died the first time. Holy shit. Oh, see you later, buddy. You're still alive? I guess drop damage is really, uh... Not a huge deal in this game compared to, like, some of the later ones. <laughs> but still. Gotta give him props. My souls. I think those are mine. These are mine. Gimme. Just a little bit more. I don't want to fight you down there. Son of a bitch! Ugh. That guy... ...knew my game plan. <laughs> Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> well, yeah, of course there is. What kind of game do you think I'm playing? <laughs> Wow, you motherfucker. You son of a bitch.
Oh, I, I thought he was still alive, and I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> it just took his time to die, is all. I just want to open up that goddamn shortcut. These guys on the steps are getting in my way. I'm finding that uh, the knight, he doesn't hit nearly as hard as the hunter, at least at the beginning. Of course, everything kind of evens out once you get your builds going. But the uh, axe boy, like, seems to take out people a lot faster. I have a feeling it's because of the sword itself. I mean, the, the axe that he uses. But, eh, whatever. Uh. you fucks get out of my way You fucker. Ah, oh, you dirty little bitch. No! Got to be kidding me. Uh, that's funny. He like stared at me for like a solid like three seconds and then he throws out <laughs> the fucking firebomb. Uh. The good old, good old souls. Am I right? No! Yeah, 
Okay. This this is the this is the one. <laughs> I I can feel it. <laughs> Oh, okay, that worked out quite well. Now we just gotta deal with these other lunatics. Oh! Oh, no, he's still okay. <laughs> I need you up here, please. Motherfucker leaping at me like that? God damn. See? No problem at all. Ye of little faith. Huzzah! First shortcut. This is good. I need this. For sure. Raise up my maximum cut HP after I die. In a soul form is what this is called. Not quite undead, but it's the same thing, basically. I'm crispy. <laughs> oh shit. Ugh. God damn. Over my wares. Mostly stolen, but who's telling me? Mm, I don't think I need anything from you. Nah, I'm good. Yes. I see you. Ooh, I didn't get this before. A guillotine axe. So many mail breakers. Uh, strong, not strong enough to wield it with one hand. Oh, look at this chalky boy. I can do it with like. I can do it with two though, right? Yeah, that's fine. Might want to reconsider that for now. 
No, not that one. Uh, yeah. Once I beat the Phalanx, and I start leveling up, then I can use the other weapons. It's crazy! Never before, when this game first came out, was like, but how do you get stronger? How do you level up? The answer is to beat the first boss. <laughs> and it's like, holy shit! <laughs> like, that unprecedented. And it's like, but, but there's also the mechanic of, like, when you die, and you are going to die, like, whether or not you die at the beginning with that, uh, Vanguard Demon, you lose a percentage of your health permanently until you, uh, resurrect yourself. And how do you resurrect yourself? By beating a boss. <laughs> like, at that, at the time, it was such a crazy... Um, it's a crazy mechanic. Either through a boss or through weapons. Not weapons, sorry, items. So, again, very, very much like Dark Souls, I guess, is a much more like a common thing. But like, yeah, at the time, boy, boy, people did not like that. <laughs> but now, it's considered really good. Funny how things change. So we're going to whack this here. Oh, that guy's got the big tornado head thing. Oh, that thing's so dumb. Okay, alrighty. Getting close to the next checkpoint. Sort of. By this point, I had actually gotten lucky in the previous... My previous file, uh, and I had already picked up the halberd weapon, which I quite like. You guys are fucking, like, little bitches! Like, fucking, you son of a bitch! Ah! Oh. Fucker. Oh my god. Why is it not hitting him? No! <laughs> you... No, fuck! Ah! <laughs> you are dead. No, I'm not. <laughs> Thanks for the message, though. Winged spear. This might actually be handy. Maybe I can use this for now. Don't have the stats. Of course not. Why would I? This would be very handy right now, though. I'm just gonna have to stick with a trusty old longsword. Which is, if I'm gonna be honest, not my favorite weapon at the moment. Oh, I'm not supposed to go down this way. Well, I might as well show it. But we got two wyverns just kind of hanging out over there. We got the red boy and the blue boy. It's relevant for later. In fact, it'll be relevant right about here. Once I clear out some of these guys, actually. Do your thing! Do your thing, please! No! Ah, you son of a bitch! Fucking wyvern shit! This 
just gotta just gotta wait a little bit here. Okay. Sounds incredible, by the way. Oh, crap. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you fucking... Oh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it! I'm gonna make it! Made it. Okay, so that was the gate to the first boss. So we're basically getting to where I was at in my other file, which is, like, not that far. <laughs> I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I've been playing more Aegis Rim and, you know, a bunch of other stuff. So this is really the first time I'm gonna be, like, heavily diving into the, the Soul stuff. But hey, no big deal, right? I have been aching to play like a Souls like in, in quite some time now, so I'm I'm kind of glad I could play all of them actually. Maybe I should go back to Sekiro now that I can play it in 60 frames. That game makes me mad. <laughs> I will consider it. Yeah, so the reason why I want that halberd is because that actually kind of goes through the shield a bit. It doesn't stop. Hmm. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just wield the guillotine axe, the guillotine axe, and just like not shield at all. How much does this need anyway? Oh shit. Twenty. Oh, I can get there in no time. Once I beat this guy, I mean. Ow! You! Woo! Hoplite shield. Sick. Is this, uh, better than what I got? Sort of. Hmm. Not strong. Oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> Look at this. 
only requires 19 strength. Crazy. And we're back. All right, first boss. He's not super difficult, but uh, maybe with my weapon setup, it might be different now. So we'll see. Shit. Firebomb! He is a cool boss. I, I really like the design and everything. But like... Ugh! There are, there are more... I guess there's like really mem... There's way more memorable ones <laughs> coming up later. He is really cool though. I do agree. Like, design-wise, super nuts looking. And now I'm back to being Grinch human. Kind of wish that they gave me uh, the option to do body hair because. <laughs> Grinch is a little weird, all smooth. Welcome back. The monumental awaits the above. <laughs> Looks so silly. This like naked green guy with this gigantic axe. <laughs> 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 
and everyone's like, this? This is the guy? <laughs> we have long awaited you. Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is a tale I wish to tell you. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. Something I thought was really interesting is that the Maiden in Black and the Monumental don't speak with their mouths compared to almost every in single other past, NPC. Under benevolent rule, the world was united, owing to the soul arts. Until, a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless, deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be. We were able to lull the Old One back to its slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and most of the world, lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land, one to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest worshipping shadowman. <laughs> and the last to the great shadowman. giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed in the fringelands that survived. We contained the old one here below the nexus and prohibited the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Someone say sentinels? Alas, <laughs> the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Oh, he I skipped over like one apparently. Have you the strength to bear this burden? Yes. Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. Yo, I got the you. Old one, without demons to feed its souls. Will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom? <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah, there are a ton of them, and they're all dead except for this guy. Like, it is a pretty, like, fucked up scene. <laughs> I think they're like mummified or something, and also seems like they might have died recently, but not entirely sure. I'm gonna whack him. The disrespect! There's more of them down this way. But yeah, super cool. Uh, I've always liked the Nexus, um, which is why, like, in Bloodborne, I kind of like the, uh, I, I was a big fan of the Hunter's Dream as, like, the hub world. Now, I feel like... 
when I think about it, like like Demon Souls and Bloodborne had the had the whole hub world thing, but of course it was mired by the fact that they they that the loading times were pretty. They were long, right? Like Bloodborne pre patch was really long, so you having to go to the uh, fucking Hunter's Dream almost constantly to do your level ups and whatnot. It's a pain in the ass, but like. Yeah, most most of the uh, like quote unquote Souls veterans don't remember Demon Souls very well, or they don't remember the concept of a hub world because it didn't exist in the Dark Souls series, which was a huge step. <laughs> and so when people were like complaining about like the the Bloodborne thing, and I totally agree with them, like it's it's a it's a big pain in the ass even when Demon Souls is around. Most people just be like, oh, buddy, you have no fucking idea. Because <laughs> this, like, Demon Souls on the PS3 loaded, like, like forever. And you have to jump back and forth a lot. Lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. But, yeah, I was going to say, I think it's interesting that the Maiden in Black and the Monumental don't speak with their mouths. And it's reflected in the audio as it's kind of, like, echoey and stuff. If you talk to any of the other NPCs, uh, Blue Point have done this really, like, excellent job of doing, like, lip-syncing for these characters. I think, like, that's, like, bananas to me. Like, if I could, I'm gonna talk to the old man here, right? And, like, his lips. Mm. You knew here. Are you here for my services? Like, it, they move... James Baldwin. Moves really well. Ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade... I'll give you weapons, or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? Hey? Yeah, no like, I, I think that's like a really cool little, like, thing. Because you, do, you don't get that in a lot of games where, like, the characters have proper lip syncing, like, outside of the cutscenes. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this nexus. And like he's like My emoting wife, a little bit too, like I'm which I think is like it's kind of bananas. Victim to the demons, but I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you, brave. Slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. This guy's basically Sam. Well, if you are asking for that, I'm just gonna give you these. Because I do not need them. Rest assured, your goods are safe and sound with me. Best of luck to you. Oh, that's good. Because I, I always like that as, like, a small little detail thing for games. Like, if you go in, like... Like, even, like, in the older, like, Souls games, they don't have that lip-syncing. Like, most of the characters kind of look at you dead in the face. Or, there's the, the thing where, like, a lot of, um... I guess, like, some open-world games just kind of have, like, you know, the flappy mouth. What is it? Seekest thou the power of Souls? Yes. Of course. After all, thou requirest strength. Go ahead. Touch the demon inside me. Let these vagabond souls become thine own. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Skip that all the way up there. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Sick. May thy yes. strength. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> we big boys now! <laughs> okay, so what I really liked about the about Demon Souls is that after you beat the first boss, you can go to any one of these archstones and kind of progress in a very non-linear path pattern. Um, which is, I feel like... Like, for any Souls game, especially this one, uh, they're, they're some of the most watchable games, in my opinion, just because, like, 
Well, you can go where the fuck you want. And there's no real story spoilers, I guess, per se. But I guess we could do one, two here. They're pretty certain I can do this one here. Oh! <laughs> what? The hilt hit me? What? So anyway, this is quite literally where I'm at in my other save file, so... We're all caught up now! I guess. Sort of. I could, good, I could go to other places. There is uh, the Tower of Latria, which is like one of the best locations in like all Souls games in my opinion. It was so good that it, it served as the uh, ground... Uh, it served as the, the base inspiration for the entirety of Bloodborne's uh, level design. So that, that, that is something to take into consideration. <laughs> A single area in this game inspired the entirety of one of my favorite games of all time. I love Bloodborne. What a good game. I really hope... I really hope FromSoft considers doing a PS5 patch. Because, uh... It would be nice to play that in at 60. If not, I guess a remaster? And then they could just give the upgrade to the people who already own the game? I don't know. Seems like they're already... They're, they're like, really busy with a bunch of projects. Because apparently they're, they're still reportedly working on an Armored Core game, which is, hell yeah, injected straight into my veins. Give me some of that high-speed mecha action, please. And they're still working on Elden Ring. I don't... It's been so long that we've seen anything about Elden Ring that I'm kind of like... Like, as if I see anything new about it, I'll probably be pretty excited, but like... <laughs> it's been so long. Ugh. I don't even know what to expect from Elden Ring, in all honesty. But the fact that they got J.R. Um, G.R.R. Martin behind it makes me think that they're going to try to do a little bit more in terms of a uh, story. Story and characters and whatnot. I would go pick up those other things, but I don't think I can do that right now. We'll go down here. Oh yeah, this area. Oh, this place sucks. Well, not really, but like, it is really annoying to fight some of these guys here. Specifically, a group, a big group of enemies I'm gonna run into in just a second. Beware of hunters ahead. Beware of enemies ahead. Makes this a little bit easier. You son of a bitch! Oh. Bad! Had 
had to wait until he was like right in my oh, face. Oh, we meet again. Fancy that? Hope you find something that suits you. Uh, I guess I could take some more of these. So why not? Thanks for that. Goodbye. Oh, I died up here before. This is some bullshit. Holy shit! <laughs> I don't trust long, like, bridges in Souls games. Yeah, yeah, because of that shit. Grab this and just go back. I don't think I can make that entire run. Nope, give up. I can't do it. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> no, there's no way I could do this. There's gotta be another... Hmm. So if I remember correctly... That's where the Tower Knight is? The next boss? That is a very long, like, run. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. I wonder if how long it takes for him to like like if he's breathing right there can I trigger it so that he goes for another round down that way okay yeah okay okay this might be doable so we'll just wait around here so right around here here. Now we just, just bolt for it. Let's go. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, I'm still alive! Excuse me! 
Gentlemen! <laughs> Please! <laughs> I seek refuge! Oh! <laughs> oh, you dirty fucker! God damn it! <laughs> Okay, well, we can totally get past the dragon, so that's that's all, or I mean wyvern. So I guess we 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 know that we could do it. Out of my way! Where is he? Ooh, adaptive bows. Well, adaptive triggers for the bow. Feels good. deal with those wolves again. That's fine. Actually, I'll use the bastard sword instead. Yeah! It's so heavy. Is this not? Hmm. Yeah. I think to be like. Hmm. Oh crap. <laughs> Worth it. Holy fucking shit! I need you- I need you, to, I need you all to like fuck off for just a second- Uh. Uh. So I'll use a pine resin again. I don't want to use it though. I don't want to use it. I won't use it. No, it's bad. It's got, I, I, I don't want to use too much of it.
son of a bitch. Oh god. Gotta go. Are you still chasing me? Oh fuck. <laughs> Bad! You fucker! Shit! Okay. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, God damn it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Let's just wait for to do another round. Okay. Okay, go. Oh Jesus. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh, oh god! Okay, <laughs> we're good. There you go. This should be a little bit more doable. I didn't mean to do that. That ah, shit. Oh, give me item. Eh, that's fine. I'll take it. Ooh, full moon grass. You get back here. Where are you going? <laughs> I do not appreciate you. Ugh. You. You. Fuck you. <laughs> uh. Bring on the lizards. Okay, crystal lizard. <laughs> No! No, no, no! Come on! Oh, thank you. Uh. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh. 
Thank you, kind internet stranger. Well, I was hoping for a shortcut or something, but I guess fuck me then, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, okay. I, mm, I remember the Tower Knight, but I do not remember how to fight him. <laughs> I do know it's not supposed to be a head-on fight, though, so... Here we go, I guess. <laughs> right, it's that guy. Oh man, that feels amazing. With the haptics? Oh, that feels so good. When he slams that down, it's this whole other, like, it's this big metallic, like, thunk. I'm, rec I'm in trouble, please recommend help. Hope. Woo! Enemy's weaknesses in the foot. Thanks. I don't want to get near this guy, though. I guess there was no gimmick to this. I guess I do have to, like, chip away at his, like, little toesies. It's safe here. Thanks, game. <laughs> yes, <laughs> excellent. All right, I guess we're going into him then. What a cool boss. That does nothing! <laughs> oh my god.
shit. Oh my god, really? I don't think I'm supposed to hit him head on. There is supposed to be something else I'm supposed to do. I just don't remember what it was. Oh, wait, this is doing something. Holy fucking shit. Let me eat my grass. You motherfucker. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is working out. I think this is doing something. It's definitely doing something. Oh my god. Let me just, let me just get up here for a second. Let's kind of like hang out right here. Yeah. Woo! I was not that close. Come on! No! <laughs> yes! Shit! Get up! Get up, Grinch! You got Christmas to steal! Ah! That is a misleading attack. <laughs> I just need to whack his shins a bit more, I guess. Fuck's sake! Oh my god! I don't even know if this is working. It's clearly doing something to his legs. But I'm almost certain I have to do something else. Maybe I have to hit the front of it? Are a dirty little. <laughs> There's got to be more. I'm going to imagine. Maybe I have to hit him from up here somewhere. There's a dump ahead. Like here?
There's no plunging attacks in this game, though, so I can't really do a plunge. I'm in trouble. Please, please recommend this message. Get out of here! <laughs> I'm gonna keep on whacking at his feet. I don't know, it's the only thing I can think of right now. Yeah, like this guy says, the next enemy's weakness is on the foot. Holy Jesus. Come on! I think I have to hit his arms. How the fuck am I gonna hit his arms? Maybe once he throws his shield down? Come on, you bitch! No, not like that! Because <laughs> it's allowing me to target different parts of his limbs. Come on! This is the way. You are formidable. You are strong. Thanks! I guess that's those are messages for people who have beaten this already. Holy shit! That's a head scratcher. I <laughs> am undefeated. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. That's a fine appraisal. Maybe I'll leave a message. Uh, how do I leave a message? What, what was the item for that? There we are, blue eye stone. No? How do I... Wait. Leave soul sign to help other worlders. Oh, that's for... I think that's for me to like... That's a multiplayer one, never mind. Oh, here we are. Uh, message. Choose a template. Uh, musing. Congratulations. Finalize. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go to the washroom real quick. I'll be right back.
Okay. My bladder has been emptied. And I'm ready to do this again. <laughs> So, apparently I have some vacation days that I should cash in, and I'm thinking about taking off, uh, I have like four days, it's really not that much, but like, I'm thinking of taking off the 28th to the 31st so I can have a full 10 days off, <laughs> um, because a couple of those are already holidays, right? Which means it's not stop souls time. <laughs> so yeah, that, I, I'm probably gonna do that. I'm gonna let my uh, got the operations man. Nineteenth to thirty first, damn. Yeah, I mean, I've only I haven't worked there long, so I don't have that many vacation days built up. Uh. But, nah, eh, four days. That's not bad. I'll, I'll throw them in. I could either do that or, like, cash them in. But, like, meh. I'd rather just... I'll, I'll just build them up. I mean, I'll, I'll just use them. Fuck it. Yeah, 20 days because of COVID. Interesting. So, uh... Those those new numbers for Alberta are pretty uh they're they're pretty uh, uh concerning. <laughs> they're not great. What the fuck? Those guys that have to do the uh, daily map updates, or that have been doing the daily map updates on the Calgary subreddit, have like, <laughs> they've added a new color code, or like two new colors to the map, because like, it's gotten like, super bad, that they had to like, update the legend, <laughs> and it's like, oh, that's g not good. But yeah, we're probably not going to see, like, any real, quote-unquote, action being done until, like, after New Year's. Because that's just, that's, that's my prediction. And, uh, by then it'll be too late. Although it's already pretty too late already, so I don't know what I'm even talking about. Do flame! Do flame! <sighs> I'm running out of, like, items. I... Probably go buy some more later.
Okay. All right. Same deal. Let's leave a message for someone. Uh, advice. Um, I'm almost certain it's the legs, so... The... Is there, is there a... The fist? <laughs> the... Hmm... No, none of those. Okay, how about... Mbasa. The true demon soul starts here. <laughs> Visions of what? Oh, okay. How about observations, huh? A little... No, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, warnings. How about... Be wary of the enemies. None of these have foot in them. Or am I just not seeing it? Okay, well, fuck it. Whatever. You son of a bitch! No! This reminds me of the, uh, the one reborn in Bloodborne, where you have to, like, take out the guys on the top. Okay, let's go over the ankles again. I'm positive I need to keep on hitting them.
That's doing something. Oh yeah, more bits of his armor came off, so I definitely have to keep on hitting him. Oh my god! No! Ugh. Well, here we go again. grab some stuff while we're on the way there. Oh shit. Ugh! Catalyst. That would be nice if I had any spells to use. Well, let's check down here. die. Oh, he's getting hit by something. Alright. Gash resistance ring. Item will exceed capacity. Oh, send to storage. ready. <laughs> that's, that's a really nice feature. Because um, back in, in the original, there was no scent to storage. So if there was an item that you just couldn't pick up, 
Sucks to be you. God damn it. That was really close. I'm gonna need to buy more healing items. I didn't want to use like my little like soul items, uh, but uh, it's, a, it's a special situation. Hey man. Okay, let's just use these. Fuck it. All right. Just give me like, just give me a bunch of these. Exceed carrying limit. Son of a Thanks bitch. for that. Okay, uh, there might be something I don't need in here at the moment. Let me just get rid of it. Oh, I can't. Right. Ugh, I should drop more stuff off. Oh well, it's fine. I don't think I need any more than this. He says as he constantly takes small chip damage. Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh god. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, fuck. That is not a good start. No, 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 no!
that's so frustrating. You're still alive? Oh my god. God. Oh, this is bad. Oh my god! <laughs> Just one! I got hit once. And that was it. Fuck. Okay, I have to go back and like dump some stuff off, apparently. Just keep hitting the fucking ankles. It's working. I know it's working. It's just, um... He's hitting me a lot harder. I'm keeping a close watch. <laughs> Give you these. And then you can take all of these. I uh, don't need the armor in all honesty.
take that. Maybe I should whack some of these guys around just to get, like... Fuck! Some, like, healing items, maybe? Did these guys even drop anything? Shit. Eh, oh, hardstone shard's not bad. Not what I want right now, though. Oh, thanks for the follow. How do I say your name? Su Suko Shigorjira. <laughs> Help me get souls. Uh, I'm I'm okay. Oh crap! I think I might have left a little bit too late. No, I'm good. I appreciate the uh, the the offer though. I was reading <laughs> I was reading the fucking message. Oh well. Yeah, it's fine. I, I mostly like play through these like on my own. Get out of my way. Well, I guess I could just go right back to the Tower Knight. I just lost, like, 7,000 souls on that body, but... What can you do? That's just the nature of this type of game. I guess I'll go get those back. No! 
Oh, you <laughs> There, what? <laughs> that one, the one guy was lagging behind. Are you, are you fucking serious? Uh, boy, we are going nowhere fast. To that what the fuck okay let's go <laughs> uh, uh, souls games crack me up they crack me up in a way that like I don't know, like, no other game can, but, um, I feel like a lot of that got lost in Sekiro. I, I, I don't know, I, I feel, like, I know Sekiro's a good game, but I don't particularly enjoy it nearly as much as I play, when I play, like, Souls games. It does a lot of good things, um, it does a lot of things, like, better than the Souls games. Like, I really like the, uh, parrying. I like the fact that you are mostly spending like skill points on skills rather than a uh, 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 you know like stats and whatnot I also appreciate the uh, uh, the runs to the bosses like they're they're really really short. Like, I think Sekiro has, like, amazing, like, one-on-one -on -one moments. But as soon as there's, like, more than one enemy, holy god. It's, it's fucking difficult as shit. Oh, I also appreciate, like, while I do like how, like, Souls and, like, Bloodborne and stuff tells its story... I, I also really appreciate how Sekiro uh, basically has like its entire story like up front, Thanks for that. and like it basically tells it through like you know like actual like characters and whatnot, and it it seems to be like an actual pathway. So it does do a lot of things different and better. Like, I don't know, it just, uh, it, it just doesn't quite scratch that itch. It just doesn't quite, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't replace Tenchu, because, like, I think, like, Sekiro's stealth isn't very gr good, <laughs> and I don't think, uh, it doesn't quite, you know, do the Souls thing nearly as well as, obviously, like, a Souls game does. But it is very different on its own, right? I just don't know if I enjoy it as much. Well, I wouldn't say I don't know. I know I don't enjoy it as much, but... I acknowledge that it's a good game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, God, oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, no.
You're not dead yet. What? No, stop it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Attempt number what? Five? I've lost count. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be a while. This whole... This whole Soul series is going to take some fucking time. Let me tell you what. Like, I am probably going to be playing these Souls games for the next couple of months. I guess if there's any series that I could like, you know, binge out on, I could I could definitely binge out on these ones. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You fucker. Trying to like. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. I keep, like, moving the stick forward and attacking, which causes that punch animation, which is only really helpful against, like, human enemies. I gotta- I gotta stop doing that. That is not helpful whatsoever. that right. Let's 
give it another second here. Picking up that item actually, like, caused me to duck from that bolt. Oh my god. What? Oh, okay, you gonna do that too? Fine. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, here we go again. Oh, God, oh, Jesus. No! <laughs> Why did I jump down that way? Fuck. Oh. No! What the hell is that? That is not where I'm like moving the stick. Okay, well, it's fine. The fall damage is minimal, so... Ugh. Okay, all right, here we go. Oh, you're still alive. Oh <laughs> shit! Ooh, close one. Shit. Oh, come on. Really? Let's go around this way, man.
Doing something. Oh, no. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We might be able to do this. No, come on! Oh! You son of a bitch! Ah! Oh, no, no, no! No, 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 no! Oh, yes! <laughs> we did it! Ugh. Holy God. Oh, my God. It should... <laughs> I don't remember that fight being, like, difficult, but I, I, I must be just really, really rusty. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Oh my god. So, okay, so like, I'm gonna take a little moment here as I eat like more of my little pomegranate here. But like, I feel like the Souls games has like this one feeling um, that uh, no other like game series has ever gotten me. Or like, like made me feel. And it's the uh, feeling of, like, overcoming, like, really, really, like, difficult bosses and stuff like that. It just feels really good. No, it's not the fire. The fire adds more damage when he's, like, fallen down. But all I had to do was keep on chipping away at his fucking feet.
Which I did. Because he's a bitch. A bitch that killed me like 15 times. <laughs> Please level me up. Uh, Alright, what do I want? The luck stat. Should probably get my endurance up. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Do a strength build? Strength with endurance? Maybe a little bit of vitality. Yeah. Oops, I did not confirm that. Key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Her uh, little prayer Art thou finished? May thy strength is like is great. <laughs> It's something that, like, if you played, like, you know, the original Soul, uh, Demon Souls, like, it just kind of gets, like, embedded in your brain. It's simple. In trade with your souls. That and the, uh, the words, what was it, the word um Umbasa. Damn, I don't have enough. Okay, well, that's fine. Should I continue with this one, or should I try another one? The Digger King... Which was the Tower of Latria? This one, Tower Queen. Let's go take a look, see. Yeah, Tower of Latria. Oh, jeez. Prison of Hope. Oh yeah, I feel so hopeful, girl. So hopeful. Wow, they really. They really made this place look fucking banging. Anyway, as we're going through this, you're gonna, like, because I'm gonna go into Bloodborne eventually, we could finally see the level that inspired all of Bloodborne. Because, like, if you look at the aesthetics here, it's very gothic. It's already very, very much... Like, this area could be in a Bloodborne <laughs> area. Like, even if you look up into the sky... And like, look at the uh, structures there. That su that moon, sun, whatever. Just the whole area, very bloodborne. Also, there are these, uh, these squid heads, the mind flayers. Once again, very bloodborne. Oh! oh god, oh god, oh god! No! Oh shit! Oh crap! Someone's screaming for help. I think he's like down there somewhere. Fucker's got a shank.
Fuck! Oh, those guys. Those guys. They are a bit of a bitch. Oh, what? Try fist. <laughs> that is a fine message. <laughs> yeah, shit. No, uh. Oh, I'm dead. Those things are really hard. Well, it's mostly difficult because you have to kind of take into consideration the uh, incredibly narrow pathways that you have to fight in. It's fine, though. It's fine, though. We've got this. Oh, there's two of them there. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. 
Yeah, so let's give our prisoners weapons. That seems like a good idea. Appears to be locked. Shit's locked. Huh. Where... Am I supposed to go? Oh. Prison of Hope, West... Third floor. Was there a ladder here somewhere, or like a lever? This can't be good for my durability. <laughs> oh. Take a step forward. How about I don't? I don't trust you. No. <laughs> East third floor. Oh, here we are. Take the key, third floor keys. All right, sweet. Can I use it to unlock these? Or is it gonna be one of those things where I have to like have it out? I, I honestly do not remember. No, it's a key item, so it should just use. Just gotta find the door that unlocks. And I have a feeling. It's the one all the way back there. Hmm. 
this way. No, that one all the way down there, I think. That's not even a door, what am I talking about? Oh, yes it is. <laughs> that's a big fucking rat. Well, then again, that's pretty small for uh, souls standards, now that I think about it. Hello? Hello? Okay, well... <laughs> Alright, well... Brought it on yourself there. Enjoy the prison. <laughs> messages. Souls games just wouldn't be the same without, like, the, the community. Like, the dumb type of messages people put up there. This wouldn't be the same. Down he goes. Remember these weird jar people? Pretty sure they were being tortured. Like everyone else in the fucking tower. Thanks for reading. <laughs> uh. Puzzle. Item. Or is there one in here too? Aw, uh, yeah. This is a decent set to have on. Not too heavy. Can I still, uh... Uh, yeah, I can still fast roll. That's all right. You bitch! Okay, he's stuck. It's gonna be time. Prison of Hope, Cell Key, and the Fourth Floor Key. Okay. Ooh, an S-Dock. Hmm. 
you'd think there'd be a hint. <laughs> Some of these fucking messages. Should unlock this one here. But I have the cell key, so I should just go around and see if one of these guys will open up for me so I can take your items. Oh, okay! Oh! Back! Everyone back! Cool. This is probably a dex weapon, isn't it? It is. Just for one hand? <laughs> I guess I gotta get a second set. It'd be Wolverine. <gasps> I can cosplay as Wolverine. Still waiting on getting some equipment to uh, make myself look like Santa Claus. Though that that's probably not going to happen anytime soon, now that I think about it. Anyway, we're moving on. Son of a bitch! Ah! Uh. Oh, this is the cell key. Okay, let's use it. Wizard shoes. So much fresh spice. So spicy. Renowned hero soul. Oh shit! Oh, 
hello. You're still intact, aren't you? You don't look very nice. Where do you call her? Well. Dear me, I something's cry. happened to you, hey? <laughs> oh, perhaps you'd like something from my collection. I've known better days. I was once the wife of nobility, and I have some nice things to show for it. I really like the facial animations for this game. I think they're top notch. They're they're not like super realistic, but they're also like you know they're they're video game enough. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. They're just they're just nice. Moonlight shard. Uh, you do have a lot of good stuff here, but I don't want to buy any of it. Before there were many others trapped here, but they were driven mad and ventured above of their own volition. Redemption. There exists no such thing. Well, that's quite all right. Son of a bitch. Oh my god! Mother f fucking motherfucking squid people. <laughs> I swear to god. Maybe I should get the souls to go and level up first or something. Okay. No. Ooh, aged spice. I guess you couldn't call it old spice, huh? Motherfucker. Oh crap. Oh no, we're okay. I should, yeah, I'm gonna use these souls, actually. Before I, uh, die again. Oh, so tragically. Uh, I'm on the third floor. I have to leave here, this way. Might as well use them, level them up, upgrade the weapons.
You know what I think I'm gonna do? Actually, no, I won't do that. Never mind. I was like, maybe I should like in preparation just create the characters for all the Souls games and just make them all Grinch, so that we could just like go through the entirety of it as the Grinch. I will say though that the later Souls games, like um, uh, uh you know, Souls one to three and Bloodborne have a way crazier character creator <laughs> that allows you to make some horrific monsters. So I think that'll be like, uh, that'll be fun. It'll be fun to use. Thou seekest the power, then touch the Oh, actually. I shall await thy return, Slayer of Deep. I am here for thee. Oh, good. I can forge weapons for you. Repair my equipment first, actually. I don't have the required materials. Oh, I need hardstone shards. Mm. Well, that's disappointing. Do come back alive. Hello again. I'm keeping a close one. Hello again. 